G'day guys, so today I'm going to be showing you through navigating the Azure portal. So this is going to be the first video in a series of Azure videos. So if they're out already, you'll probably see a link in the description. If not, they'll be coming soon. So pretty much this is what you look and see when you sign into the Azure portal. So you'll have a bunch of things for Azure services and some recent places and some areas to navigate. So up the top, on the top left, you've got your portal menu. This is how you'll get around the portal. So from here, you can go to your home or your dashboard. So if we go to dashboard, at the moment, we haven't really got anything in the dashboard because it's an empty Azure subscription. But you can customize this dashboard. So if I say click edit, I can then move the dashboard around, add some more stuff to it wanted to add a resource groups I can put that in there too but yeah so that's basically it and then you hit done customizing so then you can customize your dashboard so you can see what is important to you on your Azure dashboard so from here also you can go to see your resource groups and all of your resources which are inside your resource groups and some shortcuts here see your subscription stuff um, jump into your Azure AD stuff see your virtual machines or get into help and support so that's basically from the menu you can also create new resources from there um, up the top right hand corner you've got your name and you can see your stuff there uh, we've also got your settings for here so your portal settings so what you want your default view to be so if you want your default view to be the home screen which looks like this you have it on home. If you want your default view to be the dashboard, you can select dashboard and then your default view will be your dashboard. You can also um, choose your layout. So if you want the, uh, the menu docked, so it's always there, or if you want it so you can click it to come in out, then you select fly out. You can also change your theme. So if you want it to look dark or change your contrast, and also disable pop-up notifications. I personally like the pop-up notifications. It lets you know when things are ready. Um, let me just change it back. I like that view. You can also say sign me out after a certain amount. So if you want, you know, say you leave your computer and you want it to automatically sign out, you just say 15 minutes. I'm going to leave mine as two hours. Up here, this little bell is your notifications. So you'll notice as we go along, when we do things, notifications will pop up. You can also go and visit your activity log to see things that aren't in your notifications. Uh, in this little thing is your cloud shell. We haven't got it set up. I'll take you through setting up the cloud shell later. But see, if I click this, it's going to say you need to mount some storage. But that just basically gives you either bash or PowerShell access straight into your Azure portal. Um, you can also view help and support by clicking this and you can see what's new. So if we open that. Oh, so there you can see I've got a uh, notification saying I've got $209 credit left. So there's a example of the notification. Let me just click help and support. So this will take you through to the help and support. I should be able to click what's new. So here is just a feed of all of the stuff that's new on Azure and there'll be a heap of it because there's always new stuff coming out. You can also view the Azure roadmap which should give us an indication of what's coming up soon. And you can subscribe to the RSS there if you want to. But yeah, I'll let you guys view that. To sign into Azure, the best way to sign in is to go to portal.azure.com. This is going to take me straight in, but if you weren't logged in, what would happen is that you would go to the login screen, which I will um, not do right now. You can also change your directory. So if you've got multiple subscriptions, if you hit this button up here, you'll then see your other subscriptions that you can sign into. So here I've got a few there and I can switch directories if I want to, which we're not going to do now. You can also leave your feedback up here if you want to. And 
let's say you had something bad, you could type something in there and then let Microsoft email you about your feedback if you're so excited about that. So from here, pretty much, you can create resources. So if we go to there, create a resource, it should take you to the resource thing. From here, you can search your marketplace or navigate through the menu. So let's say I wanted to um, get an SQL database. I could type in SQL, hit search, and here's all the options that come up for SQL. Or say I wanted to get a um, server virtual machine. Nope. Machine. And then we can see some different virtual machines that we can get there. Or say you wanted storage, you could click storage. There's some different options. Yeah, so that's basically how to navigate. So you'll notice as you navigate through, what will happen is we'll click on here and it will show you up at the top where you are. So I haven't got much. Let me see if I go create a service. So here's Windows Server. If I click on that, you'll see up here that it will navigate to the next screen and create a virtual machine. So to go back, I can either hit the X or I can click here as well. So if I go back to the dashboard, that just takes me back to the dashboard. So it's basically, it goes um, left to right. So as you continue on going through the menu, it will go further to the right. So you can hit the X and that'll take you to the next one left. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos. Next thing I'll probably be making is um, how to make a virtual machine inside of Azure and how to log into it and secure it and stuff. So don't forget, like and subscribe to see more and I'll see you next time.